Hi everyone, welcome to another R tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an additional field in your data set based on some conditional logic. And in the process, I'm also going to clean up the MBA data set a little bit more. I believe after this video, the data set will be clean enough enough, uh, sorry, clean enough so that we can begin some high level uh, analysis and summary uh, of that MBA data. So let's dive right into it. Uh, loaded the data set and ran the head function. Now recall in an earlier video that we created the game date field. However, there's going to be a little bit of a problem with this when we when we load it every single time, and I'll uh, I'll show you that by using the class function. I'm going to run it, and unfortunately, the when we load it every single time, often. Actually, every single time we uh, load this data set, it's going to read that field as a factor rather than a date. And we want it, we want R to interpret that variable as a date. So we'll have to do a little bit of a uh, little bit of cleaning up uh, every time we load this uh, data set. We'll use the as date function, which is very similar to the as numeric function that I showed you in the previous video. And we're simply going to, whoops, okay, so what this line will do is it will take the game date field, convert it to a date, and just store it in the exact same location that we did before. And to make sure that it did what we expected. There, now it is being read as a date. And that's important because I need the I need to use the fact that the data in there is a date uh, in another part of this video. Uh, so speaking about the MBA season, roughly it is broken into two pieces. The first part of the MBA season is the regular season. The second part is the playoffs, and often when we want to look at high-level summaries of how teams did and players did and things like that, we want to separate the regular season from the playoffs. And uh, so I'm going to create a field called a playoff indicator, which basically indicates whether or not a particular record uh, is tied to a regular season game or a playoff game. To do that, to start off, I'm just going to create a playoff indicator variable and populate it with zero. Now, as I'm sure you've guessed, uh, not every single record in this data set is a, uh, should have a playoff indicator of zero. What I'm simply doing is populating this field with zero, so that's kind of the catch-all you know, statement. Uh, later, um, what I'm going to do is come up with some logic on which uh, which games are playoff games and then give that an indicator value of 1. But just to start off, to give it a default value, I'm assigning everything to be 0. And actually, I'm going to come up with that logic now. Now, if I simply refer to the entire variable, uh, you know, all underscore df, dollar sign playoff indicator. Uh, any changes that I made to that, I would, it would affect every single uh, value in that field. So I'm going to use bracket notation so that I only refer to specific values. And I'm going to use this game date field, the one that I just converted to a date. And I know based on, you know, uh, looking it up online that uh, every single, in the 2013 season, uh, every single playoff game was played on or after April 20th, 2013, and every regular season game was played before April 20th, 2013. I'm going to use that fact in this logic here. I'm going to create this here, and let me talk through it. Okay. So when I use the bracket notation, I'm subsetting the variable. I'm looking at the game date field, 
and every time the game date field is greater than or equal to uh, April 20th, 2013, then I'm going to assign a value to it. I'm going to assign a value of 1. Everything that has a that does not satisfy that criteria will retain their original value, which in this case was 0, which I did immediately in the line before. I'm going to run this part, and uh, so I, uh, I'm going to check my data to make sure that what I did, uh, that these lines that I executed did what I expected them to do. So I'm going to run the head function on all underscore df. Now I happen to know by the way that I created this data set that uh, it's in chronological order. Uh, the, the oldest records are on top, the newest records are on the bottom, and as I mentioned before, the playoffs are at the end of the season. So if I look at the first few records, and I look at the playoff indicator, it's indeed zero for all these earlier records. I can use the tail function, which is the opposite of the head function. The head function looks at the first few records, the tail function looks at the last few records. From the tail function, and indeed we can see that playoff indicator is now one for those last few games. Now I haven't really done a really super thorough check to make sure that this playoff indicator worked, uh, but you know, I, I think in this particular case, I think it's good enough to just check a handful of records and make sure that this, this variable is behaving uh, the way I expect. You know, depending on what you're trying to do or how thorough you need to be, you might want to do a little bit more thorough checks, but this is good enough for me for this video. Okay. So, lastly, I'm going to simply write these results and... Uh, that's that. Uh, I'm going to end it right here, and then in the next video, hopefully I'm going to actually dig into a little bit more detailed analysis. So uh, that's it for now, and I'll see you guys soon.